What's going on YouTube, B Dog here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo Crow to Zen Raid Flawless. Um, I'm doing it as my Titan character, but if you guys wanted to see for like a Hunter or a Warlock, I could probably make videos for those. Um, it might only take a couple tries, I don't think it would be too hard um, since I got the Galahorn, but um, that's one thing I wanted to point out before we started the video. Um, if you don't have the Galahorn, I'd probably just say don't even try this flawlessly like you could still solo it but I doubt you'll get it flawlessly unless you want to spend like all day because um, other than the warlock there's no other way really to take Crota down quick enough I guess you could use machine gun but the glitchiness of the raid you'd probably mess up and have to restart the flawless run so number one on the stuff you need this is the Galahorn Number two, I'd say, is you probably need to be at least level 32. Ideally, you do want to be level 34. Um, level 32, if you took enough attempts, you probably could flawless it. Um, but yeah, ideally, you'd want to be level 34. That's what I was. And I'm not going to be talking through this whole video. I'm just going to point out some stuff at certain parts that um, need some explaining. So like here... Um, you're going to want to kill these guys and this just saves you a lot of time and the enemies don't attack you. So you're going to want to go on this rock here and when you have no way to darkness, you're going to want to stay toward the left side of the rock and quickly run and jump just like you saw. Um, it's going to take practice. You're not going to get it first try probably. But to make that jump as the Titan, you're going to have to have the thing that allows you to jump to greater heights or boost to greater heights because um, you still barely make it with that so you're gonna need that one um, a multi-tool would help with it and um, upgrading your agility in your subclass would also help if you're having a little bit of trouble so um, there's that and for hunter you can I guess for hunter and warlock you can make it with a blink again that'll take a lot of practice but you're gonna wanna make your guy look in the air because you actually blink higher when you're looking in the air so um like yeah again um take practice but you look in the air and then you just have to like sort of know where the edge of the rock is and do your um blink perfectly timed and you can make it so uh that's how you do it for the other characters but if you aren't comfortable with the blink jump um you can easily just do it with the hunter just walking through with the don't touch me's and the invisible blink strike you can make it through really easily you don't you could probably make it through a level like 28 but um yeah, for hunters, it's really easy for them. Warlock, you can actually, um, with your Sunsinger super, uh, once you get to the highest part of your jump, you can pop your super, and he'll, like, glide in the air onto the, um, top of the platform. So that's another way you can do it if you're having trouble with the blink jump. Um, all of these will take practice, as I've said over and over. And if you guys are really having trouble with the jump, um, just let me know and if I get enough responses, I could probably just make an individual video for um, each character on how to do it. But um, that's about it for the first part. It's really easy after you do that jump, no enemies attack you. And you basically just wait, take out the ogre with your sniper, or rocket, whatever you have, and um, just wait for the next part. And I'll pick this up again when we get to the bridge, and I'll tell you guys how to get across. Okay, so now that we have touched the plate and the bridge, we're all ready to go. Now we just kill this old buddy old sword bearer here. 
and um, we actually wait for him to go down the stairs a bit because then we have less of a run and the sword won't disappear as quick but here we go we pick up the sword and here again you're gonna want the jump to greater heights and you can make it fairly easily with a titan you just gotta have um, your swipes timed right and arms that have increased melee speed helps as well so um here you can see we make it fairly easily and if you don't make it there's a way that you can go to the right or the left either way doesn't matter and you can actually land on like a little rock and jump up from there but um again there's so much stuff i could just make another video about so like if you guys um want to see that like this video comment below let me know all that stuff but here you're just going to want to kill the enemies and basically when the ogre comes out just snipe the shit out of him gallium whatever you want to do and the wizard too i if you have rockets like here i have two i'd save the rockets for the wizard actually because the wizard's pretty annoying compared to the ogres ogres aren't too hard here i don't even um have sniper or rockets for the ogre ideally you'd want to have a sniper ammo to take him out because uh, you'll see here that it's actually pretty sketchy taking them out with my <laughs> Mita multi-tool, but um, you're going to ideally want sniper, sniper rifle ammo. And also, you cannot go past the little lip I'm shooting there behind the thralls. You don't really want to go past that for too long because the totems will turn red and you'll lose. So um, you're going to want to probably stay right behind this rock. You can jump up there for a bit, but make sure you get back down because those to totems will blow up if you um, are up there too long. So here you'll see take out this dumb old wizard. We don't have sniper or anything, so we just gotta take him out with our multi-tool. Didn't really feel like using a synthesis. So we just take him out like this. It gets pretty scary at times. He's charging me and stuff, but um, we just blind him with our bubble and everything is good. So we take him out and then the next guy, next ogre is at the other side. He's really easy since uh, wizard's gone and he barely shoots you. So that's it for this part and yeah, um, again to make it across as a uh, hunter you can blink, warlock you can blink. There's ways for those I could show you or you could just check out someone else's video I'm sure. But um, yeah, if you guys want me to make a video about it let me know. and. Got some snipers, so this guy just gets shredded. Okay, so this is only normal mode, so the Shrieker hallway, the Shriekers don't respawn, so you can just kill it, shoot a galley at it. First one you can kill with basically anything, you can kill with your primary if you want. But I just galleyed it, and then you run away, we're not worried about getting the chest, so we just run away from these things, <laughs> get hit by a couple of them on the way. But kill the first one, and I'll show you guys where to stand to kill the second one. But make sure you jump a little with your galley because galley sometimes detonates early, or I guess like most time detonates early, and you can hit a thrall or something and die. So I do a little jump, um, shoot it, and just run away again. <laughs> and then basically all you need to do is run through the thralls when the shrieker blast is gone. So that is really easy on normal mode compared to hard mode where they respawn, which sucks a lot. But yeah, normal mode's really easy. It's basically all you do, just killing a couple, hoping for some heavy ammo. I don't know if any drops, but <laughs> yeah, so just kill them, clear a few before I run, and then you run through. And that
Okay, so as you guys saw there, there was a little cut in the gameplay, but it's only because my PS4 can only save uh, up to 15 minutes of video at a time. So between sections like this and Crota, I actually saved it. And um, that's why you see like the little transition. It wasn't like fluent or anything. So if you guys don't believe me, I did it flawless. I have screenshots at the end of my getting my trophies and shit, but um... What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to draw with the left wizard like you saw there. I just went in the room and ran away to this side because now all the ads will spawn at that side and not this side. There's only the two um, uh, knights here. So yeah, you just galley the shit out of the wizard and pop the synth and then you take out the shrieker. Um, now all the enemies are at that side so um, you don't really want to run in there too quick you want to play it a little more cautious sit back here take out the wizard and shoot a rocket and then I think I just snipe her for the rest of it since her shield is gone I can just rip her with the black hammer and there it goes now the enemies this part gets a little tricky not too tricky but a little tricky these two knights might follow you in you gotta check behind you so you want to jump on here uh, the acolytes will be shooting you too which is annoying but then you do a little jump off like that and then you run hopefully the knights don't slice you and then you're out of there this part it's pretty much like if you do it that quick you'll get it done for sure um because you'll have enough time to take out these knights as well because there's still the two knights uh with the swords left and there's a knight with the acolyte gun which is really annoying but the black hammer, or I guess any sniper will take care of them really quick. And you're going to want to clear them before you go in there. Because you'll have enough time if you do it fairly quick enough. If you don't, you could always just go in there, pop a titan bubble, and <laughs> do it really easily. So, now that most of the knights are dead, finish off this guy. You're going to want to, I actually went in too quick, you'll see. You're going to actually want to wait until she starts her liturgy. Because if you go in like this, she'll just keep moving around. And you'll see she's like behind the crystal a bit for me, which sucks. And I have to like really um, make precise shots. And sometimes they aren't hitting right here. Um, she really wasn't in a good spot. So if you stay out of the room, she'll just be right out in the open for you to hit if you uh, don't run in there too early. So, boom, she's dead. Night, I almost die here. It was pretty sketchy, but um, now we're out of there and just kill the enemies. <laughs> really boring part. You could probably just skip forward if you really wanted. I'm just killing them here, and I'm gonna pick it up at Crota.
Okay, so as you guys can tell, we're at Crota, and we just finished up the heavy ammo glitch, as you can see. Um, if you don't know what the heavy ammo glitch is by now, it's basically you get rid of all your heavy ammo, switch to the icebreaker, and then you have a hand cannon, and you get rid of all the ammo in your hand cannon. I'm pretty sure it has to be a hand cannon, I don't think the other guns will work. But you get rid of all the ammo in your hand cannon, and as you'll see, everyone drops heavy, so you can throw grenades, shoot them with the icebreaker, stuff like that, super. But you just have to make sure you don't pick up, because then they'll stop dropping heavy. Um, like if you uh, pick up primary, and if you even just wait long enough, um, you might just uh, automatically regenerate uh, special and all your ammo. So, you gotta do it fairly quick, not super quick, but um, this first part here you'll see, you just do it the same basically. Take out the enemies, you don't need to generate orbs or anything because you're just playing solo. And it's not hard mode, so it doesn't really matter either. So, um, for Crota, yeah, if you guys don't, I'm, you must have done Crota by now, I'm not telling you how to do flawlessly if you haven't done Crota already. So, um, this part you're just gonna basically do it like you normally do with the Galahorn. Um, there is the way with the Warlock, um, that works actually really well with the Super, but then again you can only get like one down per, uh, sword so that sort of sucks this way you can do like two um this isn't a great run <laughs> i sort of like messed some stuff up like here i didn't kill that knight <laughs> that's sitting beside crota so i gotta waste a couple galleys on him right now but um yeah some stuff i just didn't really pay attention to i guess and um crota wasn't behaving the way i really wanted him to Sometimes he was going down really early as you'll see and I only get like two hits um, Only a couple times. I think I get three hits But yeah, most times I'm only getting like two hits which sort of sucks. So uh, yeah, I have to deal with ogres and stuff So that's the reason um, I'd actually suggest you go in like level 33 or 32 Because 34 the galley actually takes him down too quick. So um, as you'll see there I'm only going to get probably, yeah, two hits in, and this time I think I get three, but, um, yeah, I'd probably recommend being 33, so, that's about it, um, I don't think I have a whole lot more to explain, it's basically just regular Crota from here, um, going down to the Ogre Room to deal with, um, the middle Ogre Room, that is, it's not the hard Ogre Room, uh, the middle Ogre Room, to deal with ogres, um, that's about it, um, just regular Crota, taking him down with the galley, same thing as that first time, and, yeah, if you like the video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, me a lot, if you guys want to see uh, the other characters, I could even do that, um, but I probably wouldn't do a full video, full length video, just because, um, it's not really needed, I would only do the parts that's different character to character like the jump the bridge jump stuff like that um so here we're basically waiting for crota to go center all you guys if you're watching this how to do flawless you obviously know how to do crota so um here we kill him and yeah just didn't go with the way i planned really but um that's gonna about do it for the video and thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one